Guys, welcome to another episode of Success Tips for Network Marketers. Guys, I'm a, I'm a little dressed up more than usual right now, you know, but just getting home from work and everything, had to hop on this video. I was actually doing a, a phone call for a, a team member as well, so I was, I haven't had a chance to change, I haven't had a chance to do really much anything other than the business, but it's, it's fun, it's exciting. And I wanted to get on here, I wanted to do this video for you guys because I think it's so important for people to understand affirmations. I think it's so important for people to understand the, the, uh, the effect that they can have on you. The title of the video obviously is, Do Affirmations Work? And I want you to ask that to yourself. Right now I want you to think about to yourself, like do, do I think affirmations work? And if you guys don't know what an affirmation is, let me back up a little bit. Um, affirmation is essentially whenever you repeat a, a phrase to yourself. You're, you're affirming uh, like a, a goal or a future uh, desire. So a lot of people, they'll use, you know, I, I am worthy of success. I am, they'll use I am statements a lot of times. You know, I am happy and thankful that... I've attained the level of income I desire. I'm happy and thankful that my wife no longer has a job. I'm happy and thankful that I'm no longer debt free, or I'm no longer debt free. Yeah, no, you know, I, I'm happy and thankful that I, I no longer am buried in debt. Do you, do you guys see what I'm saying? Like affirmations have both a, a good and a bad rapport, though. That's the thing, and, and I wanted to address that today because a lot of people, as soon as you you hear the word affirmation, as soon as you hear the word law of attraction, as soon as you hear the word, you know, the any of those phrases, you know, visualizing success, all these different things, you get one of two responses. I, I've never seen an in-between response unless somebody doesn't know what it is. Either, oh my gosh, th that's so amazing, it works so well, I love it, or that's crap. I don't know why anybody ever told me to repeat these phrases and, and I was somehow going to create success. And, you know, people, they get either really positive or really negative reviews. And it's funny. I, I find it so, uh, so ironic. Ironic is probably the best word to use in this case. So ironic that people in network marketing have this negative view of affirmations and they always cite their lack of success or the lack of success of others for their negative view on an affirmation, their negative view on the law of attraction. And they're always, you talk to them and they're like, no way, that thing doesn't work. Now, I, I had a friend, he repeated affirmations for years and none of it ever came true. When they're using the same art, I mean, in my opinion, okay guys, I'm going to be a little bold, a little brash here. If that's how you talk about affirmations, if that's how you talk about really anything, you should probably not be in network marketing. Because you can then use that same thing on network marketing. Oh, I knew a guy who did network marketing for years, never worked for him. I knew a guy, he did affirmations for years, never worked for him. I knew a guy, went to a job for years, never worked for him. I knew a guy that had kids for years, Never worked for him. He never had a cool, happy family. I knew a guy that paid his taxes for years. Didn't help him at all. You, you see what I mean? Like, like these people have these this negative view of affirmations, and it's it's just kind of baloney how they how they choose to justify that negative view of it. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about affirmations and my view on them, because I think just like I, I feel about network marketing, just like I feel about any. Um, any journey that you put yourself on in life, any, any undertaking you go after, it comes down to that famous, you know, that, that famous quote, if you think you can, or if you think you can't, you're right. If you think that affirmations work, or if you think that they don't work, you're absolutely right. If you believe that they'll work, then you start saying them, you start using affirmations, you start Im implementing them into your business, into your life, all aspects of your life, you're going to start to see things, you know, just changing in an instant. You're going to start to, your mind's going to change, all of a sudden success is going to be drawn to you. But on the flip side, if you say, you know what, those affirmation things, they suck, they're terrible, they're a waste of time, but I guess I'll give it a shot, whatever. 
then you also, I am so worthy of success. I am so happy that I'm no, that I'm debt free. All of a sudden, nothing's gonna happen because you don't really believe that it's gonna help you. An affirmation. I was reading this. Um, I, if you ever heard of Ray Higdon, he's got a book called Vibrational Vibrational Money Immersion. Don't quote me on that title. I, I'm more consumed with what's in the book than the title. I apologize, Ray, if you ever see this video. Nothing against you. But I, I just, I like what's inside the book more than, you know, the title. Uh, but anyways, and he, what he did is he broke down Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill for network marketers. All right, and so both of them in conjunction. So not just Ray, not just Napoleon Hill, but both of them, both wildly successful in business. They talk about the fact that an affirmation does not work if it's not mixed with any degree of emotion without any degree of faith. And so right now, whenever you believe that affirmations suck, they do. Because that's your, that's your own thought, that's your own belief. And so your affirmation will never come true because you're mixing it with zero faith, zero positive emotion. But if you believe in your affirmations, if you believe that they can change your life, that they can change your mindset, they can change everything, all of a sudden they're mixed with emotion. They're mixed with that, that faith, that belief that what you're doing is important. And guess what? They start to work. Just like you and your network marketing company. If you think going out and contacting 100 people a day is going to help grow your business, all of a sudden you're going to contact 100 and it's going to work. You're going to start signing people up. You're going to start getting new reps. You're going to start getting new customers. But if you think oh, contacting 100 people a day, that's not going to do me any good. One of two things is going to happen. Either A, this is more likely, you'll never talk to 100 people or B, you'll talk to 100 people and nobody will join you. Why? Because you have no belief in what you're doing and they will be able to feel that. Guys, <clears throat> affirmations work. I can tell you that from personal experience. I can tell you that from hearing the testimonies, the experiences of other people. Affirmations are important. Utilize them in your journeys to success. Utilize them in every aspect of your life. When you do that, you're going to start to see things change. You're going to start to see your life go from an ordinary life to an extraordinary life. You're going to start to see everything, not just your results, but your mindset, your gratitude, your, your, <clears throat> your effort, your just your vibe that you give off, guys. You, you'll be walking in somewhere and people will be happy to see you because the, they'll know, they, they won't know why, but they'll know that you bring in a positive vibe to the place because you're using affirmations, because you're having faith and belief in what you're doing. Guys, go out there, use them, allow them to change your life, allow them to take you to that next level, level of success that you want so badly. I promise you that they'll work. If you guys have any questions, any any concerns, any thoughts, go ahead, drop them in the comments below. Send me a personal message. Reach out to me somehow. I, I don't really mind. I want to help you guys out. That's my goal. If you have something, a question that you're wondering about network marketing, if you have a skill that you're wanting to learn, I did a whole week. Okay, back when I was doing multiple um, network marketing trainings within a week, I did a whole week on recruiting because I had a few different people from all different companies reach out and say, hey, I, I'm struggling with recruiting. What can I do? And I spent a whole week on it. So I do listen, guys. Let me know what you're struggling with. Let me know what you want to know about. And, and I'd love to do that for you and help change your business and change your life. You guys have an amazing Monday. Have an amazing 4th of July. I'm stoked if you can't tell. Wearing you know some patriotic colors. I did that on purpose. I've even got some really cool socks. It'd be really hard to show you guys right now because my pants don't allow me to reach my leg up that high. But you guys have an amazing 4th of July, and I look forward to bringing you some more tips for success next Monday, guys. Look forward to it. Bye-bye for now.